Walmart, guys. So, Lashana's friend invited us to a little beach event. So, that's where we're heading to. That's Kai, Sash, and Olivia. So, I can ride at the front. Oh, we're <laughs> Hi, Kai's friends. <laughs> so, we're at Waikiki. No, Wikiwaki. Waikiki is Hawaii. <laughs>
time as I can, so this is why I'm still sitting in my pajamas. But I'm gonna bake some stuff that I have left over in the fridge for Halloween. Then I just turn it into a little cake. Also on a sales meeting. Tomorrow, guys, key. this is the number. Yeah, call these numbers if you want to import a car. Yes, or purchase a car. Or purchase a car. Jacko's Altamar Limited. Yes, I got a key that I like the and then, I got a little Oh, yeah, you have the key ring for your phone. Mm -hmm. so something now. There's little books and stuff, oh. little notepad, like blue clues. And, and it's eco, these are the eco friendly. Eco friendly ones? Yeah. Dang. And all that. This is nice. Yeah, so. Oh, and she bought me some oil. Not for you. Okay. <laughs> what else in this? Oh. Nothing. You have no feet. All right, I'm going to put this one around. Making a quick little supermarket run. Kai just went into the, um, to Wendy's. I want to make some lasagna tonight and have it for like a couple of nights. So I'm here doing that. All I know is I need to get minced beef. I need to get the lasagna. And yeah, guys, I baked a little cake and it looks just like this one. Mine looks just like this. I don't know if it tastes just like that, but anywho. If I have time, I'll come back and buy some extra cupcakes. So lasagna and um get everything i need to get and then i'll check you guys later Don't mind all of this stuff on top. It's just normally what I keep in the oven. But here it is. It's some of the leftover cake mix from the Halloween party. And it came out. I can't show you, but it came out perfectly. Perfect, perfect, perfectly. Um, Let me try flip it and show you. Like, it didn't, there's nothing wrong. This is one of the most perfect things that I've put in the oven. <laughs> Malik was the one who mixed it together. So I think going forward, I'm going to have to start putting um, putting the exact amount of ingredients, like measuring cups and everything. So I got minced and that's what I'm going to cook today. So I'm going to take out the pots. I'm going to make some lasagna. I got three different types of cheese. So my fridge is so empty, it's embarrassing. But I'm gonna, hold on, let me actually put away the egg. I got a carton of egg just for breakfast and stuff of the sort. Everything is so all over the place. I don't want this to fall and I have pretty bad luck. Let me take this out. I'm gonna put this icing on top of this. I also got some Malta. I don't know, I've just been so obsessed with Malta lately gonna put my cheese and I got probiotic put my cheese in here and then until I'm ready for it put it back in the fridge I'm gonna 
gonna also put my mocha back in the fridge. I'm gonna put it in here with my wine. And then I got this for the pasta, for the um, lasagna. And like I said, probiotics. I'm just gonna put that down here. I'm gonna be eating it in the mornings or whenever I want a snack with my granola bar because that's almost expired. And I don't have any space. This is the lasagna I chose to get. It's a product of Jamaica, so I thought that was pretty cool. We end up using it. Let me just put it here. And I got some I got some wraps. So I can make some breakfast wraps. Some wraps for after I work out. I'm going to get some chicken breasts one next day. Um, yeah. And then I got orange juice for myself and for my guest. So I think this day was pretty, pretty successful. Yeah. So that's that. Oh my God, look at my fridge. <laughs> Those wine glasses were from me and Kai. Um, but yeah, so let me just get into making dinner and I'll see you guys later. It's been a couple of days. Well, it's actually it's been a day. But I'm at Port I'm in Portmore Mall now. Um and I just had to come check a bill. So now I'm gonna head to the gym and I need to buy a broom. I've needed to buy a broom for the past couple months. Okay, no, online. Since I've been back. Uh, so I'm gonna try to go to the supermarket and maybe get a broom or I could go somewhere else and get a broom. I don't know. Alright, so here I am in the supermarket. Guys, I have some exciting news to share with you in my next update video. A lot of you all will be shocked. These little containers are not bad. They're kind of cute. $800 for them. They're not bad. Ooh, this one is even worse, not bad. These are 403. Hold on. These are nice meal prepping containers. This one's 483. That's crazy. So then this one has to be. This one has to be. That's weird. But this is a 451. That I have some updates, some big news coming out for. Okay. So here's some rooms. So I don't know how much. Oh, 830. I wish I had a black one, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Mega good. I don't know which one I should get. Whoa. I thought this was gonna be tougher, but it's very fluffy. It's fluffier than this. Anyways, I want a green one. But I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like hold this purple. So weird, right? But yeah, I buy broom with you guys. Whoa, this is tough. Anyways, I think I just going to put on the simple one. Which one do you guys think I'm gonna get? The skinny one or the thick one? Ouch! Ow, ow. A splinter. I just want to see how it. A green base because my other mops and stuff are green not bad so how much is this one second guys I'll be right back all right so I'm looking maybe I get like I need some meat because last time I brought the wrong thing and I bought wings instead of like actual chicken but guys I just did some oxtail a while ago and it was like almost 
let's say 10 US yeah about 10 US for three pieces of oxtail like literally three cut up pieces no ma'am deboned breast ooh should I get the deboned breast I think I'm gonna get two bags of deboned breast because I need to I need to eat so I'm finished with the supermarket um the two bag of meat that you saw me with the broom and the napkin came up to four thousand five hundred dollars so right now I'm actually gonna head to the gym um, I got what I went over there for and more <laughs> you ever go in on store say I go for one something and then just leave with a lot of things that's me drop a comment down below if you if you agree chicken yeah I'm gonna bake some chicken and I'm gonna make a wrap um, whew, so so tired so 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 tired but now lie guys that was one of my best gym days since I've been back in the gym this month <laughs> um, one thing that I'm a bit concerned about is my hip thrust my weighted hip thrust i don't know if the weight's too heavy for me i'm gonna try maybe go lower next time but for some reason um when i'm doing my hip thrust i'm just not feeling it in my butt and i want to feel it in my butt i really don't want my quads my quads are very muscular like from track i think i still have a lot of muscle memory from track um I'm about, can I make it yeah um I never used to have this problem when I did hip thrust because I know how to do hip thrust my form is correct like you can see from the earlier footage where you can't really see that much because the weight's blocking it but I know what my form should look like so it's kind of weird how I'm not feeling it where I should be feeling it and where I used to feel it so maybe it is that the weight is too heavy so like I said I'm gonna have to just test out that theory next time but I don't know see it's I accidentally pressed the, the AC button um yeah so like I honestly have no idea because I just don't know why I just don't know why I'm not I'm feeling it so much in my quads and I even tried different um, forms placing my feet further away placing my feet a little bit closer um, making sure my collarbone is on the bench making sure my shoulder is on the bench keeping my back straight nothing is helping so at this point the only other variable that I can test out is the weights yeah I just wanted to share all the two cents okay hey guys I'm on a quick trip to uh, Trelawney 
I'm going my auntie, one of my aunties is here in Jamaica. So I'm going to stop and see her in Trelawney as well as my grandparents, my cousins. Um, but I'm also going to stop um, at the police station um, in Clarendon because that's where my accident was. Because I've been calling every single day because uh, they held on to both vehicles to check if they were roadworthy. I been calling them every day and they have not been uh, there's no information like I keep asking like is there someone that can assist me I need to know what's going on with the vehicle and the one person that's working on it is never there um, I called yesterday when they said that he should have been at work and they said he was not there at work so I'm just gonna have to drive down there and speak to like a superintendent or I don't know what they call the superintendents in Jamaica but somebody had to tell me while going with the vehicle like you guys said you're gonna assess it and I'll know it's been three weeks has it been three weeks it's been at least two and a half weeks well today is Thursday and it happened not last day is it? yeah so it's been three weeks I'm I'm gonna have to pay for that pound the fee that they charge per day or whatever which it could all be 15,000 per day. It's not crazy, like, how am I gonna pay for that? And I've been calling and, and you know what they said to me too? Oh, when the vehicle is released, we'll give you a call. No one has called me. Nice, right, so here it is now. So I don't know what I captured in the last part of that recording, but basically, one of the officers, the officers that took my statement, he was there. Um, so he called the officer in charge of, you know, the um, traffic, traffic section. So accidents and those type of things, that officer and that group of people is in charge of it. So he called him and like, you know, the lady come on, whatever, whatever, and she's been trying to get to you and Ray and Ray and Ray. Um, so he said all of that. So he had him go look for some document that I guess was supposed to be prepared. So he was like, okay, the only thing you need is a document from us and it needs to be signed by a JP. So we're going to get the document, we're going to get it signed and we're going to get a document and you can go collect your vehicle. So him come back about three minutes later saying that he cannot find any document. He can't find any document. The like, call back the officer, right? hear this now I, well I didn't really hear the exchange but he basically said he cannot find it and then um a couple seconds passed I guess the other officer was talking on the phone so then he's like you know what he's gonna be back on Wednesday he's on sick leave I'm like that's what y'all told me no they didn't say he was sick I called countless times but I also called Tuesday and they said he will be back no I called Monday they said he will be back um on Wednesday so me now talk to mommy um, I believe one of those days and she was like when's the last time you talked to them most of them talked to them Monday actually it was Sunday sorry guys I keep messing up the dates cuz here it is I talked to them Sunday and then I talked to mommy Tuesday um, I didn't tell her that he would be back Wednesday but I decided to call again on Tuesday and I'm like is such and such here and they're like, no. I'm like, do you have any idea when he'll be here? Because remember, somebody had already told me he'd be there Wednesday. And that person said, no, she don't know. She just know that he's not there. So I'm just like, all right, then watch this. Wow, what is not this? So now, next week, but me here now, from the officer that was here that took my statement the first night, he's saying, listen, ma'am, your vehicle is being held by the police. It's under investigation. They can't charge you. The police is holding your vehicle. What they can charge you for is a $25,000 for take it from yes sir to yes sir. And that's that. So I said, hear what now, Mr. Officer, since you are saying, but should I record him now? <laughs> I should have been recording him. Because I'm like, listen, if they give me no other price, are you a cover it? I mean, I tell you that from no. Because you are telling me this $25,000, if them give me no other price, is you covering it. So, the end of this, the thing is that they don't have the document prepared for me that I would have to take to the pound to release the vehicle. They don't have that ready. So, I guess I might have to be back here Wednesday, Christmas Day, which you'll be seeing that vlog Thursday. Because Thursday would be day two for December 2nd. Um, no, you're going to see that vlog. You're not going to see that vlog 
you can see that vlog on day you might see that vlog on day two or day three so i have to come back here december 1st when i should have been hi guys welcome to vlogmas <laughs> you it's so frustrating and there's absolutely nothing I can do and there's nothing nobody else can do because when you leave all that all that um power let's say power that responsibility into one hand when that one hand is not there nobody else can do anything because they don't know what's going on so it's so frustrating anyways mega safely drive to Trelawney you know um see my auntie my grandmother cousins you know the vibes um mommy want to updated video on the house so i'll be sending her that um guys welcome to the vlog welcome to real life in jamaica guys look at this bag of sauce up he's selling it for a thousand dollars so why well, i feel a little bit lean or maybe it's just because the steering wheel is in here we're good right yeah all right let me make a call while we're in this drive through my aunt Shade. Hey. um stopping by that but instagram is a getting very 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 expensive so yeah because driving on the toll now one one something there the first toll through to old harbor when you pass that toll is five hundred and fifty dollars so that's already and you're coming back that's already it's five hundred and fifty or yes yeah, five fifty so that's already one thousand one hundred dollars and then you add on the other one which is 150 um 150 and 150 is 200 plus the um no 300 sorry plus the 1100 that's 1400 yeah Simple math center guys, but you know, you guys are watching me. I feel nervous. <laughs> I feel nervous. Cut me some slack, okay? I'm pretty sure that was the right math. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Back again. I was gonna opt out of filming, but I'm like, cheese party. Remember when um Mama B squatties the comment and says she read that ready eye people with party. I'm gonna move out in a finish for not dropping eyes. Anyways. Stop to get this. Thank you. So let me just get it. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. <laughs> I feel, um, it was looking rough on the windscreen, and I kept thinking that more rain was gonna come. So I like I washed it as if to wash it, and it no rain come. So it was a dub. So I had to stop at a gas station and get them to clean it. So now I can capture more cinematic stuff. But I'm gonna drop in some drone footage here and there so i don't really need to worry about catching anything on the ground um but yeah
I record it. <laughs> Miss Lou. You like mine? Thank you. Guys, that's my auntie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want something? No, you want something when hug your feet. Come on, talk on my shoes. So, Grandpa phone. Grandma, let me borrow that. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where is it? Yeah, you can clean it and show them another time. But where is it? It's called a a pen. A penny. A penny. Guys, you know what an a penny is? All the people that are not. Don't expose your age. <laughs> Just kidding. But if you can make it out, an a penny. A fifth. Where is it? Six pence. It's very thin. So thin. Shilling still at the money now, British people. And um, what else they always sell? Say it again. Say it again. Pardon. Pardon. What's a pardon? Oh my god, that's going way back. Pardon. Yeah, fifty man. remember that though. I think they get rid of it when. Uh, Say them again, Grandpa. <coughs> yeah, this is like that. Yeah, right, Say them again. Oh yeah, the big one. Five one pound, ten shilling, five shilling, two and six, two shilling, one shilling, six pounds, two pounds, penny, eight penny, and five. What? <laughs> wow. So that either a penny or six pence. You can't hear when it drop. You listen to how it sounds. Ready, ready. Fit here. Yeah. Clean it off. Yeah. Can't believe you find it. You find it a grung. So who over there have the money here? Yeah, but almost long time. Almost long time the money has sitting on like mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. 30 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, what is this? The man that made the they built up on it. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. That will come mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to try to wonder what kind of writing or image. You can't describe how it look, Grandma. Let me clean up your seat. Yeah, I'm going. Let me try to clean it now, so we can't show. Good morning, guys. So it's the next day. I'm heading down to Maypen again. Um. So the police officer called me late in the evening yesterday and said that if I come tomorrow, he'll try to get somebody to sort it out for me, so I don't have to wait until next week. So. Let's see how that goes. Um, I'll get back to you when I'm in Maypen. Alrighty, so I'm here at the police station now. I'm gonna go inside and hear what they have to say. I really, 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 really hope they're not gonna give me the runaround today. And I really hope that the, the pound fees don't come up to a lot because honestly, I can't. I cannot afford it. I cannot afford it. All right, guys. So, just went to the record place. Um, um, can't remember where I last updated, but they're oh yeah about the fees. So they are charging me storage, which was 500 a day. So it didn't really come up to no whole heap of money. It would still whole heap of money. They charged me 18 thousand dollars. Were you not gonna stop? Stop. 
and there's so much traffic as you can see there's a long line of traffic and he wants to go this way there's nowhere for you to go so where were you where are you gonna go <sighs> anyway so they charged me eighteen thousand dollars jmd to bring the vehicle literally less than one mile it was not a full mile from where the accident happened to where they keep the vehicle but their storage fees aren't bad i thought their storage fees gonna was gonna be far worse than what five hundred dollars a day i thought it was gonna be far more than that so i'm grateful at the end of the day the price that the police officer was giving me for the record fee is how much they they charged me in total so basically twenty five thousand dollars is what i have to pay them for storage and for the record fee so that's what i was expecting to pay them for record fee alone so i'm very grateful on that end i also called the other wrecker that will be towing it my uncle in trelawney will be fixing the vehicle um he's a mechanic and a body man so i have so much mechanics in my family it's crazy my father was a mechanic my other uncle on my father's side is a mechanic and other uncles my uncle on my, my mom's side is also a mechanic my mom herself is also a mechanic um isn't that crazy i have a lot of mechanics in my family and then there's chad that knows his way around the car um he can fix his fix up bikes and fix up cars like man my family is really good with vehicles anyways um so my uncle will be fixing it so that we're towing the vehicle from Clarendon to Trelawney and he's charging me my begging my discount my begging my discount he's charging me um he's charging me 38,000 so that's about 50 something thousand in total so I'm on my way to Scotiabank now to withdraw it um yeah and then the person from the insurance is gonna assess the vehicle and we're gonna figure out the part so hopefully it's fixed by the end of January end of um, December yeah it will be fixed by the end of December yeah I should be following this GPS I think that's a one way Alright guys, I'm so lost as to where I'm going, so let me I'll In 300 meters, turn left. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Alright guys, so I'm in the Scotia Bank ATM line and it's so long like like almost 30 people in front of me. Okay, it's not that much people, but it's a good amount of people in front of me. And I don't know if you can see the time, but it's 12 29. So hopefully, this starts it out by at least 1 o'clock. And by at least 1 30, the recommend should be at the pound. And then he'll take the car. Mommy brought up a good point that I need to check the car for all the stuff that I left and bring them with me. So I'll go and do that because I left my water boots in the car. But anyways, I'll go and watch something on Netflix and I'll see you guys when I get back to the pond. Alright guys, so the work. Yeah. The work again here. I know him and I guys, I know him through my grandfather. So it's like, how small is this world? But I got his number from my uncle. But yeah, so then I take over the car. What a vlog this has turned out to be, eh? Guys, you know, all this time I didn't know how... <laughs> I didn't know how they did it. Let me get this to focus. So, I touch my baby. My uncle going to fix the car for me. Hey. And they say I clip on too?
guys, rain is coming down. Just felt the first raindrop. <laughs> broke off the or pop out the axle not the axle but the socket yeah. I wish I could drive would save so much money yeah, yeah. So I take no time to fix it yeah I'm grateful they think you need one you YouTube is truck life J A Truck life driver J A Truck life driver J A. They got yourself. <laughs> that is my baby. My poor baby. I'll see you soon, my baby. Vlogmas is coming up, guys. Vlogmas is coming up. Make sure you're prepared for that. I might have the money to pay him because I won't be going to country with him. Um, he's gonna bring it to my uncle's house, and uh, yeah, and that's it. I'm gonna head back to town and try to prepare. I have some things planned for this weekend, so stay tuned for those vlogs. Those are gonna be the first vlogs for Vlogmas, so I can't wait for you to see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to try my best to upload every day. But yeah. Don't know what more he's doing. I'm thinking probably a security vehicle from the back. So yeah, yeah, ex yeah, secured some more. Oh, I saw bad this did look. Guys, look at that. Oh, okay. I see where I must say. For all the mechanics down here, let me try getting there. Help us this out. Help us out. This is the severity of the damage. Try my best to get the camera. I'm gonna take a picture on my phone and then upload it or post and then show you guys but everything else is fine other than this area so I'm so grateful so 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 grateful and blessed because it could have been worse all right guys all right so extra security the car not going anywhere not going anywhere guys This from Tastama. So, remember the place I was telling you guys about? I did a whole entire hair video on them. I apologize, the lighting just got really low. It's very, very dark outside, and I'm hoping that it will rain. So, when I take my shower and I have my nice, nice, clean skin bath, I can use this turmeric soap. 
So I want to get rid of some dark spots along my bikini line and just some like spots that I've gotten from mosquitoes. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this turmeric and honey soap. They have a turmeric and lime mask, which I really wanted to get. I just have to come back with more cash next time or try to purchase online ahead of time and then come and pick it up. But I 100% recommend her products. Like, if you guys remember, I'm gonna link the skincare video. This video is so long. Watch the goat. All horror guys, watch the goat. So the location I was at a while ago, you can go onto their Instagram page and you know, click on the location pin or the location link. Also give her a call. All of those good things. Um I'm heading back into Portmore now but I'm really excited to be using this. I've really wanted one for a while and I know the hair products are extremely good. The soap, the shampoo bar, out of this world. I was there and somebody else was actually buying one out of this world. So, I will see you guys.